Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We've got a lot of items to hit today. We've got a record neutrino, eye candy from deep space, vertical land motion in California, more on the May 2024 solar storm, and further confirmation that the sun super flares. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find it was another pretty quiet day. We do have minor flaring, sunspots, the coronal hole stream on its way and expected to arrive tomorrow. All the bigger sunspots that could make bigger flares are on the far side. Little growing group near center disk we saw yesterday is the one producing the minor flaring. It's got a bit of complexity, but all in all, there really aren't any scary active regions facing Earth today. So. Let's go to the news. Folks, neutrinos have zero electrical charge. They're the smallest known particle. Many could pass through our entire planet without touching a single atom. They're that small. They just found the strongest, most energetic one ever, and it wasn't close. This one broke the record by a factor of 20. Up next, an amazing deep shot of space contains several beautiful items, but dead center, what they call an Einstein ring. This is one of the more perfect distributions I've ever seen in terms of light on the ring. Pretty cool seeing that far into the cosmos. A bit more relevant for us up next is the vertical land motion in California has been mapped. They really ought to be careful here doing this if they do it for the whole world. They're going to show everyone that the areas they point to for sea level rise are actually just the places that are sinking. Rounding the corner here with another unusual impact from the May 2024 solar storms. And whether it's this or the 50 other such papers we've shown, not only was the solar eruption too weak to cause such big effects without the fact that our magnetic pole shift is leaving Earth more vulnerable, but the ones here in this paper, these unusual phenomena would be unusual even for a titanic solar outburst. And that brings us down the stretch to those titanic outbursts. Folks, be clear, every mainstream scientist now agrees, admits, or is saying I told you so in the belief that the sun can super flare. It was like that after the 2020 and 2021 analyses, but a little more never hurts. They've put the Charlemagne 700 super flare around X300, which is pretty close to where most have guessed in that X200 to X500 range. Next one, due to send us back to the Stone Age any year now. Folks, if you get the Observer Review, not only is your next issue coming in two days, but you've now got a members page. The link is below and you just put in the same email you used to sign up for the e-magazine. Everything you've got all in one place. We're still going to send the emails, but now you've got the Observer Library. Sign up for the e-magazine at the link below. Two days until the next issue. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.